Poland's democracy has come under threat. That's Agata Szymanska's message to young voters. In her newspaper, she has compiled evidence of abuses of power. She says the government has committed in the past two terms in office. Since last eight years, what's happened was uh, destroying the no democracy. And nowadays, democracies are dying uh, silently. So we don't need tanks on the street to see it. And that's why it's very dangerous. The EU has withheld billions of dollars in funds to Poland due to concerns over the rule of law. Ahead of a heavily contested election, the country has seen its most aggressive campaign since it became a democracy 32 years ago. Poland is roughly split into two camps, those of the ruling Law and Justice Party and the pro-European civic platform. A country long seen as an example of democracy after decades of communism is now deeply divided while opponents of the government say Poland is sliding towards authoritarian rule, supporters say it's improved their lives. Many of them live in rural Poland, like farmer Wacław Hudkowski, who says his generation got out of poverty with government help. They are the most reliable party, especially with all these social programs for poor families. They also invested a lot in infrastructure. Whatever the outcome of the election, some fear that as soon as the dust has settled, the visions will remain, and forming a stable government could be difficult. Stab Fasen, Al Jazeera, Warsaw.